In news from Madison's cutting edge, the Food and Drug Administration has approved the world's first dual chamber leadless pacemaker. This device that does all that turns out to be smaller than a AAA battery and it can change how hundreds of thousands of Americans are treated for slow or irregular heart rhythms. The approval came after clinical trials that happened at the MedStar Washington Hospital Center. Joining us this afternoon, Dr. Silas Haddadi. He is a clinical cardiac electrophysiologist. He's also associate director of cardiac arrhythmia research at MedStar Washington Hospital. Doctor, it's great to have you with us. Um, this is a remarkable advancement. We've, we've had pacemakers for a long time, but uh, it, it occurs to me this one is, is really remarkable. Is it that more people are going to benefit from this kind of technology? Is that maybe the biggest thing here? I think it's all of these things, and it really is just a fundamental change in how we think about and talk about pacemakers for our patients. You know, for the first time you have as you said, tiny systems smaller than a AAA battery that can communicate with one another inside your heart to maintain that natural rhythm that we're born with, top and bottom, top and bottom. And this is the first breakthrough device that does that, all without a cut on the skin, a bump underneath the skin, or long wires in your bloodstream. You actually place this in the heart, and that is a difference because pacemakers, very often you'd make an incision, you'd, you'd put the little metal device in there and you'd suture it up, and then you often had to feed a wire into one of the chambers of the heart in order to actually get the pacing right. This doesn't require all that. You're absolutely right. And as you said, believe it or not, we've been putting in pacemakers since 1958. Wow. And while obviously millions of people have benefited, we know that there can be problems with the battery, the space for the battery, or the wires. And so this is the first of its kind innovation that bypasses all of that while still allowing you to keep the heart's natural rhythm. And as you said earlier, really about 80% of people are candidates for dual chamber pacemakers. And so this is the first pacemaker that is dual chamber and leadless, and we are really excited for our patients who will qualify to get this. You, you put this in the heart, you make an incision in the leg and, and feed it up through, what is it, the femoral artery, and you, you get into the heart, uh, but there are actually there are two parts to it, and you got to this, uh, one in the top uh, part and one in the bottom part, and the two of those things talk to each other without wires. You are absolutely right. So it's a percutaneous system. So we make a tiny Beneath incision, the skin. tiny incision in the skin, and we actually get into the vein. The vein is a highway back to the heart. So we place the devices at the tip of a long, flexible catheter. We place one in the bottom chamber and one carefully in the top chamber, and then the magic happens. They talk <laughs> to one another, and people feel great. You know, at MedStar, we were lucky enough to be participants in the FDA trial. And the trial was only 300 patients, so it filled up at lightning speed. Um, and all of our patients have felt great. I actually just saw one about an hour ago, and he is feeling better than he has in a long, long time. With regular pacemakers, or, or ones that aren't nearly as advanced as this, um, they're powered by batteries as well, but their battery life was significantly less than this one is. And, and you could get you know, up to a decade or more of use out of this, this remarkable new device. Everything about it, it seems to me, is sort of a natural progression. This is, it's not just a, a, a newer model, it's in, in almost every way a better model, it seems to me. It's a quantum leap forward. And you know, if if my loved ones, if my mother needed a pacemaker, I would tell her, get the new leadless dual chamber pacemaker. It's gonna absolutely revolutionize how we implant pacemakers, think about pacemakers, talk about pacemakers. Is the installation of this sort of an inpatient uh, procedure or do you do it in a, in, a, uh, in a hospital setting? Because you do need to be able to sort of watch the progression of this thing. You're absolutely right. It's an outpatient procedure that we do in the hospital. So at MedStar Washington Hospital Center, you come in, you go under moderate anesthesia, we make the tiny incision in the groin, and about an hour to two hours later, we're done. And uh, you could even go home same day. Wow. The notion on these sorts of things is that, that this is 
these devices are for aging patients. But you don't have to be a, a, a geriatric patient. You could be a, a, a relatively young person. And if there is a, the electrophysiological, the, 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 the electricity of the heart uh, it has a problem, you could benefit from this thing right away. You're absolutely right. So in general, we think that people who have slow heart rates or people whose hearts are out of rhythm are possibly pacemaker candidates. So we meet many people who are in their 30s and 40s and have what we call a congenital heart block condition. Mm -hmm. And this is really the ideal device for them because if you're 30, you don't wanna be thinking about living for 50 or 60 years with these long wires in your heart. Yes. Instead, we can give you this leadless system, again, smaller than a AAA battery, that's designed to be taken out of the heart safely when the battery is depleted. Remarkable device and remarkable research that's been going on right in our area, Dr. Silas Haddadi. Clinical are, cardiac electrophysiologist. He's also associate director of the Cardiac Arrhythmia Research at uh, MedStar Washington Hospital. He's been good enough to join us this afternoon and talk about it. Many thank thanks, you, doctor. Thank you so much for having me, and thank you for the privilege of being here today. It's our pleasure. We appreciate it. We'll step away for just a bit. Back with more. Air can the uh, the condition of the air outside. I don't <laughs> the air conditioner. I hope yours is working because the condition of the air outside seems to be worsening a little bit almost by the hour. We'll get an update on that and the rest of the news when we come back.